Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with a newly updated nuclear war mod by Captain Striker. His video will be linked in the description where you can head over there and download the new update. So I'm here looking at the change logs. It looks like a pretty big update. Uh, by the way, this is just in the description of the video I will be linking. There's one big thing that stuck out to me, and that's the added missions, but there was also an update to the 1962 Conquest. Looks like uh, changed troop positions in Germany for both sides, improved AI, U.S. blockade of Cuba, ships won't move, and NATO forces um, of Germany on defense, nerfed Soviet submarines, and reinforcements in the Atlantic, and a few others. There's the 1963 Conquest. Uh, just a list of playable nations. Also, American reinforcements to Europe and Asia. Battle of the Rhine. Congo Crisis. Laotian Civil War. Second Korean War. Middle Eastern Conflict. And Communist Guerrillas in South America. All included in the 1963 Conquest. So, with that, let's check out the Conquest. Because I want to get to the six added missions. So we got the 1962 updated conquest. Let's grab Germany. I'm not even sure I would recognize if anything had changed or I guess it has changed. I wouldn't know if it did though. The only things I know is, holy crap. I don't remember there being so many mines over here. All I know is the US Navy does not move now. And the Soviet subs have been nerfed. Also, apparently, um, the stuff has been moved around on the starting front here. Let's go ahead and check out 63. Oh, okay, so in 63, it looks like the Soviets have made some headway, actually. And the U.S. took out Cuba. There's also some uh, countries here. Oh, that's what, that's the uh, communist, communist guerrillas. Okay. I get it. Let's take a look. Oh, Germany, you're screwed. The Soviets are coming at you again. Germany became the main battleground of Europe. Yeah. Rip. F in the chat. That's all you got left to defend? The U.S. Uh, didn't seem to want to help out too much, but you're in luck because the French have moved up. Amazing. All right, so now what I really want to check out. The missions. So they're down here in the World War III. Let's go ahead and look, I guess, at WTO first. The North German Plain Campaign. War finally broke out following the Cuban Missile Crisis. During these days of the crisis, our Supreme Headquarters planned an invasion of West Germany. The objective for us would be to eliminate Germany and the Allied forces at the same time before their reinforcements arrive. Our army is definitely larger. Please use this to our advantage. Let's go. 22 rounds for a three star. Seven generals. Check out the size of the map. Holy shit. It's massive. I don't know if I would say you really outnumber them by that much. I mean, it looks pretty even to me. Although, yeah, I, I think it's pretty even. What's the goals? So, Brunswick, Hanover. And we gotta make it, oh damn, all the way. All the way as far as the eye can see. We must advance. At least we really don't have to go north though. It's pretty much right through here. That's good. These might be brutal. Hold on, let's check out some damage real quick. I haven't I haven't upgraded the tech, so maybe this isn't gonna be. Um I didn't even turn the animations off. Uh, maybe it won't be too bad. That's a decent amount of damage. Uh, 
Uh, who plays with the animation? Who? I want to find that guy. Uh, that's probably one guy. Mission number two. The battle for the Fulda Gap. The Fulda Gap was seen as strategically important for our advance to the River Rhine by the military commanders. Our current objective is capture Frankfurt Amman. The city is known for being West Germany's financial heart, but also home to a large airfield that was designated to receive U.S. reinforcements. 15 rounds for the three-star eight general. So, we got to do this a bit quicker. The map ain't quite as big, but our force is not very big either. Speaking of the size of our force, like... Our controllable units on the last map was pretty small, but we had massive reinforcements all around us. Yeah, we pretty much got to take everything in the north to here. Anything? Yeah, down here too. Yeah, we got to take everything to the river. All right, mission three, the Danube Offensive. To defeat NATO's forces in Europe as quickly as possible, the General Secretary has ordered us to find a maneuver that will allow us to take them by surprise. To that end, we have decided to initiate the invasion of Austria. Commander, we will attack Vienna and Munich to clear a pathway that will result in NATO being outflanked by our forces. Five rounds for the three-star eight generals. Well, this map must not be... Yeah, this map ain't... Okay, I was under the impression, because I only looked at the first map, that they were all going to be big. Apparently, not all of them are that big. That's what she said. Although, we have to take everything on the map. Okay. All right, let's check out the NATO missions. Number one, the Battle of Guantanamo Bay. On October 23rd, 1962, the U.S. Navy began enacting a naval quarantine of the island of Cuba after discovering Soviet nuclear weapons stored on the island. Having failed di diplomatically, intense negotiations with the Soviets uh, causing the Third World War. Meanwhile, in Guantanamo Bay, U.S. naval forces came under relentless attacks by Cuban revolutionary forces. Defend Guantanamo Bay at all costs to create a diversion for our main invasion of Cuba. Let's see it. Got to capture three points. We got 12 rounds to do it in. All right, that map's pretty big. So basically out of four maps, one was really small. Two were decent sized and the one was just completely massive. Yeah, so everything we need, we already got. We got a little bit of backup, and not much. And we've got to defend this. It looks like we should be able to defend the port all right. Uh, the land one's going to be another uh, different issue, though. That could get interesting. Mission number two. Operation Ortsack. Orcs or Orcsack. That's pretty nasty. You don't want to get involved with the orc sack. The invasion of Cuba has begun. Our plan is to send the 101st Airborne Division to secure beaches at Morel for the 1st Armored Division. The 82nd Airborne will take the airfields near Havana and San Antonio de las Abanos. The Marines are going to land east of Havana. The forces will then capture the missile sites at San Cristobal, and yeah, a bunch of other names. Uh, the command has ordered us to prevent them from launching the nuclear missiles. All right, this looks like it's going to be a pretty big map. 30 rounds, 6 generals. Oh yeah, We're, this is a good one. I like big. I like beefy. Beef. Meteor. Tell you what, the U.S. Navy got this on lockdown. Soviet subs are few and far between. We, yeah, this is going to take some time. But we can do it. 
Mission 3. Where are you? Where is Mission 3? Mission 3! Oh no! I can't... Mission 3 is locked! See, I got a special version with these missions unlocked. Otherwise, you guys would have to play through it. What is Mission 3, though? Mission 3... Uh, the Battle of the Fulda Gap uh, NATO Perspective. So it's probably going to be a massive map and it's going to be pretty much like the Fulda Gap on the... Um, let's look here. Which one was that? Yeah, two. It's probably going to look a lot like this because it says same name, but it says just from NATO's perspective. Well you know the Soviet force is going to be much bigger. So it's probably going to be uh, we're right here and completely surrounded. You know what? Let me look at his video and see what it looks like. And then I can just tell you. Or you can watch his video. All right, this is just a screenshot from his video. It does look like it's the same mission, except I thought for sure there'd be a lot more Soviet troops since we were NATO. And we got control of this small force down here. It does look like there's a lot less troops for NATO, though. I will say that. Yeah, there was a lot less troops for NATO. Well, anyways, bros, I guess that's going to be a wrap on this update. Obviously, be expecting to see me playing through these uh, missions in the next few days. Bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will be back here for our next upload. Peace, Boominati, out.